Are you sick of hearing about fidget spinners yet? I feel like they're this year's Pokemon Go. Well, if you're not sick of hearing about them yet and you do want to know how they work, this video is for you. What is good, potatoes? This is IO, and my name is Charlotte Dobre. Fidget spinners are a very popular toy, but there's actually a lot of science behind them. They are marketed as an antidote for ADHD, anxiety, and autism. They are small ball bearing devices that the user can rotate between his or her fingers. The momentum of the toy provides a pleasing sensory experience, while the challenge of tossing, transferring, and twirling the spinners have resulted in a slew of instructional YouTube videos. They allegedly help people concentrate for people with those conditions, and also promise to bring out the creative genius lying deep within you. Scientists, however, believe these claims are a little overblown. According to clinical psychologist Mark Rapport at the University of Central Florida, using a spinner like gadget is more likely to serve as a distraction than a benefit for individuals with ADHD. However, some parents of special needs kids have the opposite to say. A blogger and parent of an 8 year old with autism said that her daughter was thrilled to see her classmates wanting to fidget just like her. Normally a device like this would make a kid the odd one out, but because they're cool now, kids who need fidget spinners for a condition feel more socially accepted. And even the inventor of fidget spinners herself, Katherine Hedinger, says that she also knows a special needs teacher who says fidget spinners help autistic kids. For a child with autism, fidget spinners provide a stress relief from the demands placed upon them during a school day. Kinda like a stress ball. Not only that, but according to a 2015 study published in the Journal of abnormal psychology, which looked at children 8-12 to 12 with ADHD, those individuals that participated in gross motor activity, which means the movement of limbs or body parts, performed better than those who sat still. Exercise has been proven to be helpful for kids with ADHD. That's why it's so unfortunate that because of the immense popularity of these things, schools all over the US are banning them. Most teachers say that fidget spinners are not being used to focus, but are actually distracting their students. But what do you guys think? Let me know in those comments down below. Alrighty, speaking of comments, I'm going to respond to some of yours. These were from our video, the inventor of fidget spinners hasn't made any money. Simply Renee Gamer said the original inventors should deserve at least 40% of the freaking money to make it fair. They deserve it cause without them whatever it is that is popular will not have been brought to the world. I agree. It would be great if it worked like that, but unfortunately that's not how it works. You have to get a patent on an idea to make sure that nobody else steals it. And even if you do, people steal ideas all the time. Look at all the counterfeit coming out of China. I'm a blobfish said, hey Charlotte, can I be in a video if I call you Charlotte? Yes. Yes you may. Coin Mal LaShawn said, I wouldn't mind fidgeting with Charlotte Spinner. Ha! Joke's on you, I don't have a fidget spinner. Oh, that's sexual, isn't it? Sir Volatile said, and I. I just wanted to sing. Thanks for your comments. As always, make sure you smash that like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure that you click one of these two videos over here to keep watching IO. 